If you're out there in Jersey and you're sick of the Jersey market, you want to go where the grass is greener, where the politicians got their hands a little bit out of your pocket. I mean, they're politicians, y'all. They're still going to get in your pocket, but not as bad as those crooked sons of bitches in Jersey. Jesus. Wow, those people are terrible. I am your hookup. That's what I'm helping you guys do. And today I'm helping one of my clients do an amazing bird deal. Should recoup his entire investment in one year. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly. Taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my man, Dan. Dan is living in Jersey, and Dan, me and you were building you quite the portfolio, brother. Uh, this one, I think you're going to dig this one, right? Uh, this is probably going to be the shittiest property I've sold you. It's fucking crappy. It's a crappy house, bro. <laughs> but that's the game, right? This one is not going to be crappy when we're done with it. And the return you're going to make, brother, that ain't going to be crappy either. Let's check it out. Hi, my name is Terry. And given my unique status as an undead killer clown, I found my job opportunities to be fairly limited throughout my life. Then, once the COVID shutdowns hit, I, like many other Americans, found myself in a really tough financial position. After I lost my job, I couldn't even take care of my wife and kids, let alone think about anything like financial freedom. All my hope was lost. I was stuck in a downward spiral of despair and drinking. I was looking for answers, but I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. Then. Then one day, everything changed for me. I discovered Holton Wise TV and how to invest in real estate. And my whole world, my whole outlook changed. And it could do the same for you if you click the link below. Welcome back. Now this one. This one is a big old bird deal, y'all. Now, folks... Some people might not know what I mean when I say bird deal, so quickly, it's an acronym. It's a B and like four R's. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. You buy a crappy house, bam, that's a crappy fucking house, let me tell you. You renovate the crappy house, my team will do that renovation. You put a tenant into the house, which was once crappy, no longer the case. Now it is a nice house, now we put a tenant into it, Okay. Then we do a refinance so you can get all your money back, okay? And then we repeat the process because you got your money. This one, this is going to be a big old reno and a big profit maker, okay? This is Cleveland, Ohio, folks. 3285 West 46, Cleveland 4 for 102. Now this house, they're asking 35, and this house is fudged up, okay? It's a single family, and it's fucked, right? When you see drop ceilings, folks, in the kitchen like that, you know what that means? It means there was water damage, right? And they tried to fix it up the cheap way, still leaking. They didn't ever fix it the right way. They're pulling the, uh, the lazy card out here, right? So we're going to go ahead and assume we need to do a roof at this particular house, right? Obviously, the kitchen is jacked. Obviously, that's not good, right? Is that poo? Is that poo? Is that poo? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I think that's a tampon over there. Yeah. Chicka chicka wow wow. Oh, man. This house is just funky ugly, dude. Yeah. So, obviously, the house is totally smoked, right? Um, And that's okay, though, right? Because that's what we want with bird deals, okay? So, it's all about the numbers, right? The more jacked up the house is, the less people want to do the bird deal on the house, the more money you can make. And I assure you, if this goes the way I have planned, we can make a crap load of money, okay? Now, the cool thing about this house, folks, it's a five-bed, two-bath house. That's awesome because that means we are going to get stupid 
stupid high rent, dude. This is an area you slap a Section 8 tenant in there with a five-bedroom voucher. You are going to make a killing. Twelve fifty. That's what I anticipate we're going to rent this bad boy for. That's fifteen k a year. Now, after paying for your fixed and variable expense estimates every year, your average profit should be approximately eight thousand seven thirty six. Now, if you look at your capital expenditures every year, I'm having you save seven hundred fifty dollars. That's seven hundred fifty dollars uh, towards big ticket items like a roof. Okay. Roof on a house like this is like 70 G's. Furnace, about 3 G's. Roof and furnace is last 30 years. Hot water tanks, probably going to spend 1000 1200 those last 15 years. So I have you saving 750 every year towards those big ticket expenses. But guess what? We're going to be doing all three of those items during this renovation. So it's not like that's money you're actually spending today. But I don't have you guys factor that in as actual profit because eventually you'll need a roof eventually you'll need a furnace eventually you need a hot water tank right think of those things though but in reality you'll probably make a little bit more money than what the chart is showing right and that's i guess where we need to go next we need to talk about the acquisition cost and the renovation cost they're asking 35 been on the market about a month uh was on off on off you get that a lot in this market right you get investors they don't really know what they're doing. They're just slingshotting offers. Then they do their inspection, and they go, oh, the house is in bad shape. Like, no fucking shit, it's in bad shape. Duh. Of course it is. Anywho, you get that a lot. So, like, probably 30%, 40% of the properties I see on the market go on, off, on the market, off the market, on the market. It, it's just a whole mess, but that's how it goes. Uh, what I think we should do is offer 30 30 cash, okay? And then you're going to have to have Holton Wise do a big, big, big reno. I think it's going to be about a $50,000 reno, okay? What I want to do, roof, furnace, hot water tank, obviously patch all the holes, all the drywall, right? Rip down those crummy uh, dry, uh, drop ceilings, replace the drywall, okay? Make the electrical safe. Home Depot, low, uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, those types of stores. That's a quality kitchenware, kitchen cabinetry and whatnot we're going to put in there, right? Don't have to be granite, uh, but we need to put nice new kitchen cabinets in there. Home Depot, Lowe's quality, off-the-shelf quality, nothing custom, folks. Don't get crazy. Uh, put all that in there. Rest of the house, refinish the existing hardwoods. The kitchen and the bath will have matching vinyl allure flooring. Uh, go through the rest of it. Uh, put in some windows, and that should be it. It's going to be a 100% fully renovated house. The only thing uh, that I think would blow this budget uh, after the inspection would be, like, structural issues, right? If the basement uh, ends up with structural problems, that's going to blow your budget. Uh, really going to be cost prohibitive, nothing we could really do there, right? But for the $50,000 budget, we should be able to get you a roof, a furnace, a hot water tank, full-on interior renovation, and get your windows, get your lead certified, right? Uh, make sure you take care of any lead issues on the outside of the property, right? 50 k uh, We should be good at the 50 k budget, right? I'll know a little bit more. Might be able to narrow that down a little bit more post-inspection. But about 50 k uh, we should uh, be covered, right? So that means if we bought it at 30, we're all in at 80, okay? 80,000. Now, by the way, I said get your lead certified. For anybody that doesn't know what that means, we got new laws in the city of Cleveland, right? So I made a video about the lead certification process landlords have to understand. It's in the notes below. Definitely check that out. If you're trying to invest in Cleveland and you don't know about the lead certification laws, ooh, boy, you're in for a hurting. But we won't have any issues. Uh, after this though right because a big old fifty thousand dollar reno that should cover it right so we should be all in at 80 and then we're going to be getting that 10 in there i gave you the numbers on that paying 1250 and this is the good part this is why the burst strategy is so amazing yeah this house looks like crap yeah you got to spend a lot of money to pay us to renovate it but guess what it's probably going to price for about a hundred thousand that's a hundred thousand dollar house right there freshly renovated 1250 section 8 tenant dude that's a banging hundred thousand dollar turnkey investment right there right meaning the bank's now going to give you back 75 for those of you doing math at home. You only put in 80. That means long term, you get this cash flowing monster, okay, for only $5,000 out of your pocket, right? That is a cash on cash return of approximately 99%, right? Because every year I think you're going to put pure cash flow, right? Not even counting. The capital expenditures uh, that you're probably putting in your pocket because we freshly renovated the whole friggin' house, right? 
not even calculating that, you're going to basically make your, your entire investment back every single year. This one is a home run among home runs, folks. Uh, so let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.